Right. Sorry about that, everybody. Delayed start to proceedings. Um, I blame other people, but I won't go into the details because that's tedious and boring and no one's interested. So uh, I'll just say sorry. Um, but I'm here now. The wait is over. Um, sorry, my ass. Pets. Language. Shocking. No one wants to hear about your arse. Um, well, I'm very sorry I kept you waiting, Pence. Um, anyway, you know, it wouldn't be exciting. We're at the semi-finals now. It's all about building up tension. That's what they do on X Factor and all that crap, isn't it? They leave you waiting for ages before they reveal the results. Um, you know, go to the ad break whilst the tension builds. Oh, Orange Raccoon, don't remind me about my PS5 delivery. The delay nightmares that I faced there, but it's fine, I've got it now. Um, and it's very good. That's my hot take. Um, I've not really had a chance to use it. Astrobot, I'll say Astro's Playroom seems fun so far. Uh, that's all I can say. Ah, so, what are we all doing here? We are here for Are You a Master Mario Maker? 2021 and this is the semi-finals um which is all very exciting isn't it so we're down to four remaining contestants we have carl cyborg victor and orange raccoon um and yes peds we will i'm sure we can do a twitch cast many where we can all talk about the ps5 um, but that's not why we're here now. We're here to talk about Mario Maker. Um, and yes, it's nice to see people wishing each other luck in the chat. Uh, look, wishing each other luck. Wishing each other luck. I don't know if there's a, any accent that pronounce luck as look. I don't know, maybe there is. Um, but yeah, that's nice to see a bit of, you know, sportsmanship going on. Um, and hello to everyone in the chat, Ubellion, Rubix, Raccoon, Peds, and Victor, good to see you. Uh, Matt, hello Matt. Matt wishing everyone bad luck. Uh, true to form there, uh, good stuff Matt. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're at the semi-finals, uh, which was basically two... Everyone was making levels on the same guidelines, but we had basically two players matched up against each other. Um, so we had Carl versus Cyborg, and we had Victor versus Orange Raccoon. Um, and first up, I'm desperately trying to make sure I don't put the results up before I put anything else up. Um, so here we go. Our first semi is... Orange Raccoon versus Victor Mildew. Um, I'm glad you like that, Raccoon. I was trying to... Uh, I was trying to make... I was going to do like an animated like Street Fighter style, like big V's sign coming down the middle and, you know, making it exciting. But I kind of... This is as far as I got. Um, but there you go. That's our first matchup. Um, I'm glad you got a semi from that, Victor. That makes it all worthwhile. Uh, that is why I do it, uh, is to <laughs> arouse people watching. Um, that's why half of the people are on Twitch, I imagine. Um, or, you know, maybe save that stuff for OnlyFans. Who knows? So, yeah, we've got Orange Raccoon versus Victor Mildew. Uh, the guidelines were uh, the floor is lava, was our sort of theme this round for the semifinals. Um, so everyone made levels on that theme, and we shall see... Now, there are two levels, and we'll see who has won between them. Um, oh, Peds, thanks for doing that. Yeah, as you can tell, I was in a bit of a rush. Um, <laughs> I did think it would be nice to get the the, uh, the fake Hockney uh, picture up on stream. Um, it looks even better when we're kind of blown up extra large as well, which is nice, um, which you can't say for a lot of David Hockney's recent work. So there we go. Uh, right, let me get the actual bloody game on, and we shall see if shout as always if it you know hasn't got any sound. Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, 
now I'm going to reveal part of what the problem was, is that I'm going to have to play these using this piece of shit, um, because this thing has decided to stop working. Um, so yeah, if I die a lot now, it's because I'm using this thing, which barely can class as a controller in my mind. Um, it's colourful, that's about the only positive I'll give it. Um, so yeah, right. Am I actually controlling the game? I'm controlling the game. It's all fine. It's all good. It's only the semi-finals. It doesn't matter if it all falls apart. Getting the excuses in early. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I've played with the PS5 now, so anything other than that dual sense, you know, technology where I get to blow on it and all that nonsense. Yeah, uh, you know, this feels antiquated now, you know. I've been living in the future for the last 24 hours. Stop using them as sex toys. Well, you know, I tell you what, the rumble on that dual sense controller, you could get some serious vibes off that. Uh, nah, I'm just going to leave that there. First up, we shall play Orange Raccoon's level. Uh, Flotsam on the Lava Lake. Um, I am not going to play together. I have no idea even why that is an option. Um, so yes, let's play Orange Raccoon's level. And yes, Rubix, I have charged the controller. It, it, I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's because I was using it on the PC and it's got it's got confused. It, it won't let me reconnect it to the uh, Switch for some reason. This is flipping awful using this controller, I can tell you. I hate this controller. Bye bye, Mr. Porky Puffer. I thought another uh, thing comes if you hit the switch twice. That's a bit annoying. Let's try hitting that again. I really like this level. I think it's a really pure version of the kind of the theme in terms of you know the floor of lava is all about making kind of makeshift oh I got fucking eaten makeshift you know platforms to move across um and I think this captures that really well so well done orange raccoon But yeah, like I said, I am blaming any any time I die is because I'm using this crap control. So I'm just going to keep hitting this multiple times now, which is probably breaking the whole thing. None of the uh, platforms seem to be appearing now. I've probably completely knackered this now. I'm ignoring chat. I don't know what you're all talking about. Sorry, I'm all over the shot. Yeah, I've probably broke the boxes now, haven't I, by pressing that twice. Fuck's sake. Let's start again. The sticks are not drifting. I've I've had zero stick drift problems with my switch. Um which I think puts me in a fairly uh, small category of people who've had no problems with a switch controller. Alright. Let's hit this a few times now, just to make sure. Where's my fucking platform? I'm sure this released more things last time. Oh well. Just about made it there. <laughs> I 
I see you're, you're muted, Carl, and so you won't hear this anyway, but thanks for joining. Right. What the hell is going on here? Why are these platforms appearing? Fuck you. <laughs> That's exactly what I said, Matt. Yeah, well, well conveyed my message to Carl there. Oh, oh, that was close. I thought I screwed that up as well. I'm doing really well so far. This is a, you know, you wouldn't guess that I'd actually done this once before. Right, yeah, I'm still not sure whether, it, you know, pressing it once has clearly not released all of the crates there. Right, so that's worth this time. Fuck you, I knew that was going to happen. Come on, Mario. I didn't think he could jump higher. <laughs> It's alright, I'll be done by six, don't worry about that. Now I will um I will have to instigate a limit if I do take too long on this. Oh bugger off you lava bastard. Oh, fuck. I definitely did better last week. <laughs> Five hours per level, that's that's me on a good day, Peds, mate. Strap in for the long haul. Oh, you son of a... Yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, can, this works well conceptually. It's just whether, is it slightly too picky sometimes about when things are spawning and whether, whether it's obvious what's happening. Should have got that. Uh, I'm sure there's a fire flower earlier where I could have killed that puff, porky puffer. Yes. Can't remember what's down the pipe now, but we'll go down anyway. Coins. Oh yeah, this was a pipe from earlier, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, let's go back down there. I don't want to do that bit again. <laughs> Are we uh, arguing about the quality of 3D world levels now? Ped, you did make a, uh, a non-shit 3D world level. You're right. You made a very good 3D world level. We've had a few 3D world levels.
Oh, I thought I was going to land that one there. Thought I'd nailed it. <laughs> we now debating how many non-shit levels people have managed to make in this theme. I'm trying to think if any... Oh, fuck off. I don't think any of the final levels from last year were made using the 3D World theme. So yeah, read into that what you will. Perfect. Pixel perfect jumping right there. <laughs> Victor, all your levels and if you all your levels were shit, you wouldn't have got to the semi-finals. What the fuck I was doing there, I don't know. Had a car bit. Yeah, the car made at least kind of two appearances, if I remember rightly now. What was I fucking doing that time? Oh, this is going well, isn't it? This is going so well. Oh, dearie me. Come on. I can do this. I want to get what's in this power up block, but I want the bloody fish to get out of the way. Have that. Yes! We did it! Ubelian, that is the question that I ask myself a lot, that we're all asking, is what am I doing? Oh, dearie me. Hey, I beat my previous time on that level, so, uh, you know, I'm getting better, step by step. Yeah, I'm not doing it again, and there's no way I'm getting top of that flagpole. Um... You could see the hamster. The hamster very slowly turning. I think it's it's not even a hamster. I don't know what's a what's a worse creature than a hamster that you might have powering your brain. Uh, I don't know a rat. I've got a rat in my head. Uh, this this is uh, the semi-finals is sponsored by Fanta. As a change from Pepsi Max, by the way. Uh, you know, change in sponsorship. Now we're in the big leagues. <laughs> Tory. Ah, oh, dear. The corruption is just, you know, destroying my brain. Oh, anyway. Um, so, a Tory snail. Ah, oh, that's about my pace. Right. So, yeah, that was Orange Raccoon's level, which, like I said at the start, before I died, I think conceptually is really good, and I think it captures the theme very well. Um, so, yes, well done, Orange Raccoon. And now we have... Uh, Victor Mildew with Springwater Factory Breakdown. Uh, so yeah, let's see if I can die a few, you know, a few less times on this level. Yeah, I don't think it is one clear. I don't think it up... Because I've downloaded these. I don't think they've updated the uh, stats. I'm hoping, you know, at the very least, the other people in the competition have played your level. Fuck's sake. I forgot this was a, you know, run level. Let's concentrate now. Let's concentrate. Right. I'm getting too jump happy. I keep forgetting you can just run over one one space gaps. <laughs> Peds did yeah, Peds just tried to screw over the voting again. Oh. See, that bit is slightly annoying because your, your expectation is to run. And to run, you hold down the run button. 
The run button is also the pick shit up button, um, which I find slightly annoying. That's more of an issue with Mario than this level. Whoops, I didn't hit the switch. Hit the fucking switch, Mario. I'll try and get all the red coins. Um, <laughs> it depends how long we all want to be here, really. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> avoid the pesky red coins. Is that not the aim of the game, to avoid the red coins? That's, uh, that's how I like to play. Oh, fuck. Oh, great, I got killed. Right, come on. Let's do this. Get the coins, come on. Oh, fuck you. I don't know why he seems to lose momentum when you're running on that. Maybe it's just me being shit. Probably. Like there, he goes really skittery when you're on that bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rubik's, do you have the record on this one? I'm not sure. I've not checked. Like I say, because I'm downloading them, I can't, um, I can't see what the current records are. Oh, I missed the coin. Oh, well, we got to the end. Yeah, I know I found a lot of impressive ways to die in that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, but you see, in my special private download world, I have the record on that level. So uh, if I never go online again, then I'll, you know, I'll get to feel good. Um, yeah. That was Victor Mildew's level. Um, I can have another go at it and try and get all the red coins if people want me to. Um, but that feels like punishment for both me and you guys having to watch. Uh, so I think it probably makes more sense to quit while I'm ahead. Um, but yes, uh, you don't have to jump on the second lift. Possibly not. Um I don't know, I think I was doing a lot of uh, over-jumping on that level, jumping where I didn't need to jump. Um, but hey, you know, it's Mario, it's all about jumping. Right, I'll have one go, I'll have one more go at trying to get these coins. I didn't even see where the fifth one was, to be fair. Um, it's probably somewhere really fucking obvious. See, I don't get that. Surely the expectation if you're jumping up there is that you're going to carry on running. That's bullshit. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Dry bone. I did spot a dry bone shell, but... Quite frankly, I'm too busy worrying about the fucking poison coming to get me. Uh, right, last go now. If I can't get it this time, then I don't deserve to get the red coins. Mm. 
No. Feels like going on that... Right, let's try again. Going on that top bit to get the coin loses you too much speed to have enough time to actually do anything about the lava coming to get you. Fuck's sake. F. Pay F to pay respects. Pay F? Yeah, pay F. Every time you ha press the F key, you have to pay. Oh, dearie me. What, what was I supposed to do there? Don't get it. <laughs> right, I'm giving up. All right, one one more go then. One more go. See that problem is your momentum there takes you too far to the left too early. Right, where the hell is this other fucking red coin? Where is this other red coin? Because I ain't seeing it. That's just too much momentum on that bit. Right. Where the hell is this shell then? That you're supposed to get in. Oh, fuck you. Helps if you get the first coin. Oh, fuck's sake. I was going to start over. Let's give it one more go. Problem is, it's... I, what I'm finding is the idea is speed, but going too fast seems to cause problems. <laughs> like, if you're hitting bits with too much speed, it's, gonna, it's sending you the wrong way. Which, in my mind, goes against the spirit of a go-fast level. Like having to slow down that, that, that throwing you off. I don't quite know why I played dead there, but... We got there in the end. That'd be something good in here, eh? Give me the fucking one up. There we go. It's a very nice little machine, this. I like that. Good work. <laughs> I'll give it one more go. A hundred times later, yeah. And then I died at the end, so fuck you. Oh, dear. Right. I've finished the level now. <laughs> it's all good. It's all... Good. The level is done. I'm even going to like it. You see? That's how generous I am. Ah, oh, dear. 
Yeah, I mean, the lack of pig noise is, quite frankly, a crime at this point. Um, anyway, there we go. That was our first semi-final uh, pairing. So, Orange Raccoon versus uh, Victor Mildew. Um, so, let me... I'm going to do the results of this one before doing the second one, basically, is the way we're doing it. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Do likes mean nothing if you downloaded it? I don't know. Why does it give you the option to like it if it means nothing? But, um, yeah. I'm assuming, yeah, that it will count the like at some point. Um, so, yes, anyway, despite much, you know, death and frustration on my part, uh, those were the two levels, and I did. I liked both of those levels. Um, it's always a more you know, frustrating experience when you're trying to uh, do it on the stream, I think. So don't let my frustrations put you off how much I really did enjoy your levels. Um, so, where are we? Yes, so Orange Raccoon against Victor Mildew. Uh, we had a lot of votes in. Um, everyone... I think everyone bar one person who has been who's played in the competition so far voted. Um... <laughs> yeah, but Matt, Sonic is just better than Mario at going fast. Uh yeah, that's just a fact. Um but yes, everyone who voted, uh, sorry, everyone who's played so far bar one person's voted. We had a couple of extra votes as well from um people just sort of watching along. Um I'm not gonna give the kind of individual score breakdowns i'm just gonna say who won because this was a straight fight between two two people really so there's no you know league system to worry about here um and kind of yeah without you know further pontification um i can say that well done rubik's good voting um the winner of Semi-final number one was... Uh, fuck's sake, hold on, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. <laughs> da, 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 da. Victor Mildew. So, unlucky orange, well done, Victor. Um, that's the way it comes down. Uh, it was it was quite tight, they, you know, it wasn't... Um, it wasn't a kind of a whitewash or anything like that. Whitewash isn't the isn't the right term there, but it wasn't fully one sided. Um, but yes, well played, Victor. Um, it was a very good level. It was much uh, much more enjoyable when I wasn't worrying about the coins. But <laughs> uh, that's that's just me. Um, I thought they were both great levels, um, and obviously both both of you have made great levels all the way through. So it's a real shame to have to lose somebody. Um, but yes, well done, Victor Mildew. Um, so you should be going through to the grand final, um, which means we've got kind of so far, you know, at least one new new grand finalist. So Orange, you uh, you've fallen short of your performance last time, which is a real shame because you've done really well. Um, but there we go. We've got our first finalist in Victor Mildew. Um, but yeah, it was, I mean, it was tight all the way through. So, uh, you know, it was, it was always tricky to see which way this would go. So that was our first semi, that was semi number one. Uh, now, next up we have Carl versus Cyborg in semi-final number two. Um, <laughs> Orange Raccoon, you're right. You can pretend you lost... If, if Victor goes on to win, then you lost to the uh, the eventual victor of the competition. So that's fine. You can still, you know, have that logic in your head. Um, yes, so next up, we've got Carl against Cyborg. Uh, so let's see what we can do with their levels, if I can get the right picture on my television screen again. Uh, which is... That's not the right button that I've pressed. Bear with. Yeah, okay, that's much better. 
<laughs> yes, there is a third place playoff peds. If you'd have been reading the thread on the forum, you would have seen there was lots of discussion about this. Um, but yes, we're going to have a third place playoff. Um, so basically, once we're done with this tonight and we know who the finalists are, and we also know who the the third and fourth you know, place players are, um, I will put out guidelines for both the third place playoff round and the grand final. Um, so that'll be going out probably tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, there'll be so there'll be some there'll be time for third place playoff, which will then give extra time for the, the people doing the finals uh, to get their levels together. Um, Peds doesn't need to read. Don't need to read to come seventh. That's uh, that's what we've learned. Um, OK, so. Next up, we have Cyborg against Carl. So we'll play Cyborg's level first. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the decision was, yes, we're going to have a third place playoff. Um, because we did the double elimination, I've basically got a set of guidelines left that was going to be wasted otherwise. Um, so yeah, we'll use those for the third place uh, round. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what, what people come up with. So we know who one of our third place playoff players is and we know who one of our finalists is. So let's find out who's next. Um, so this is Cyborg's level. Volcanic Trial Ebb and Flow. Which I remember enjoying. It's a sign of things to come there. A pointless death. <laughs> yes, uh, that's no uh, no spoiler there, Victor. You are going to have to make four levels. I'm going to fucking die. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Pay attention. Come on, let's pay attention. Concentrate on the job in hand. But yeah, it's a make a mini world final. So there's, yeah, there's plenty of work to be done. Oh, I really hoped I didn't jump too early there. Struggling to remember uh, what happens in this level, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, apologies for ignoring chat. a bit behind the pace here. Oh, why the fuck did I jump there? It was all going so well. Oh, that was tight. Thought I'd done that a bit too uh, quickly that time. Whoops! Fuck you! Ah, oh, deary me. That's not what I wanted to do.
Hooray! We got there. Right, sorry, I've been ignoring everyone in chat, but... Uh... <laughs> Make one level and then just change the themes. Victor, that's that's not going to cut it. Um, yeah, Matt, these were some very good levels. Definite masterclass territory, I would agree. Um, yeah, the jumping on the, down, the munchers was a good bit. It was just a good level, you know, good timing. You know, it, there were some tricky bits, but it was always, you know, kind of obvious what you needed to do. Um, yeah, it was very well pitched, that level, I would say. Um, Peds, you went down with the platform. Well, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, if you happen to go down with the platform, then, you know, I'd say, you know, you need to sort your life out, but whatever your kink is, is fine by me. Um, anyway, there we go. Good stuff. That was Cyborg's level. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So, facing Cyborg, we have Carl with an uncomfortably warm temple, which I'd completely forgotten that we had a, uh, a Link level uh in this semi-final, so hopefully Ari will remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Not that. Not that either. I knew I was meant to jump, I just, you know, did it too late. And as always, all blame for bad performance. It's about the controller. It's nothing to do with me. And don't watch back the stream from last time, which shows I was just as bad last time. Okay. Well, that was a bit fucking annoying, wasn't it? I love the bow. I love the bow and the extra kind of woo, shit mechanics that this has added to Mario Maker. I forgot he slows down. I was trying to be... Classic mistake. I was trying to be clever there. Oh, get the arrow ready before I'm over at that bit. Fucking idiot. Never try to be clever. Not when you've not got the skills for it. I thought I'd missed with that arrow then. <laughs> Spot on. Link needs to do more of the uh, bow training, I think. I'd be getting about five rupees if I was doing the uh, bow mini games. Crossbow, yeah, crossbow training or whatever it is. I you know Zelda's a bit shit in there. I don't play Zelda games. <laughs> right. There are mushroom platforms. I don't know. I'm trying to catch up on the chat now, which is probably a bad idea. But... Uh, right, what the hell was I supposed to do there? Oh, yeah, now I need to bomb the wall, don't I? Don't know why I didn't just hit that, rather than trying to use the bow on it. I really like that bit. I think that's really cool. And I like the uh, the beam of light coming down on the uh, Master Sword there. That's really good. Oh, 
Oh, fuck you. Thought I timed that so well. <laughs> Chill out, heads. It's all fun. You don't have to tell me I suck. There we go. And that was Carl's level. Excellent. I didn't realise that he gets a little um, Triforce piece when you uh, complete the level. Shows you how much attention I've been paying, doesn't it? <laughs> I am joking. I like Zelda. Um, you know, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good game series. It's almost up there with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. But uh, there we go. Uh, and yes, of course, as always, in my little download world, I have the world record on that. So go me. Um, I'll tell you one thing. Zelda's a hell of a lot better than Donkey Kong. Um, so yeah, you can take that to the bank. Um, <laughs> yes, Orange Raccoon, you're right. Um, you <laughs> uh, dear. And yeah, excellent work. Well done, Carl. Good level. I mean, these have all been really good levels. So yeah, I don't. I need just need to stop saying good level because it's it's implied at this point. Everyone's uh, everyone's been very impressive. Um, Okie dokie. So that was semi final number two. Sonic the Hedgehog has at least put out better 2D platformers than Donkey Kong. Yeah, I mean that's just true. There's no, there's no argument there. Um, better 3D platformers as well, and you know all the 3D platformers are shit in the Sonic series. So that tells you uh, all you need to know about Donkey Kong 64. Um, <laughs> right. Anyway, that's enough talk about Donkey Kong and Sonic and other stuff that's got nothing to do with Mario Maker. Um, yes, drum roll, please. Uh, so our second semi-final again. Some quite tight voting going on here, um, but I can exclusively reveal now that the winner from Carl and Cyborg is uh, I pressed the wrong button again. Hold on. Hey, there we go, Carl. So yes, well done, Carl. Um, I think you're. Zelda link themed level one people over um but yeah that was it was really tight that one those were both excellent levels um so yeah we have an all new final liner with uh Carl versus uh Victor Mildew um which i believe is you know Cyborg has got to a final before i believe Raccoon obviously got to last year's final but this time it is two new players in the final. Um, <laughs> yeah, Cyborg, you are free. Um, well, you're not free technically. You've still got to do it. There's a third place playoff. Um, so you bet you're free from the pressure of trying to you know, vie for first place. Um, but yeah, well done, Cyborg. Um, that was a really great level. Um, you just, yeah, you were just pipped by Carl there. Um, lots of people for both semi-finals. Lots of people put very nice messages in in their votes. Normally, I just get kind of you know quite straight. You know, this is my ranking, or this one, or that one was better. Um, but yeah, this time, lots of people put took the time to to say they really struggled uh, to pick between both of these sets of levels. Um, and yeah, I, I would agree. They were really impressive levels. Um, so yeah, Raccoon and Cyborg, thank you very much uh, for your contributions and uh, look forward to playing your third place playoff levels as well. Um, but yes, we have our our grand finalists are going to be Victor Mildew and Carl. Um, oh, Game Builder Garage. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the natural successor to this, isn't it? Are you a master garage game builder? Um, I mean, it doesn't really roll off the tongue, that, does it? But uh, I'm sure we can come up with something. Um, 
Yes, and you never know. There, you know, there may may well be another. Are you a master Mario maker? If I haven't completely killed the uh, the competition this year, then it may well survive for another iteration. Um, <laughs> give Jimmy Carr a call. I mean, I was trying to think. Can you try and do a Jimmy Carr impression? I'm not really sure how Jimmy Carr looks, sounds, or or talks now. So yeah, I won't try and do a Jimmy Carr impression. Are you a great garage game designer? That's yeah, that sounds quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I think it's going to be quite cool. Anyway, yeah. So there we go. That that is it. The semi-finals are over. We have our finalists. So yes, as has been hinted earlier in the chat, um, the the task for the finalists is to make not one level, not two levels. Not three levels, which I can't really do, but four levels. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> it's worthy of being seventh in line for a name. Peds, I don't think we've had seven suggestions yet, so you can't come seventh. Um, yeah, Victor, four levels. I mean, I, I remember the very feeling I had last year when I made it to the final, and I thought, shit. Um, all of my levels previously were submitted at the last minute. So to make uh, four times as many levels uh, without having four times as much time was a big ask. But that said, this year, because we've got a third place playoff round, um, you will have, uh, I think it's going to be four weeks to work on it. Um, so, so, yeah, it's not... It's going to be tricky, but um, you've got a bit of time to do it. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I will put out the guidelines for the final and the third place playoff uh, tomorrow. So those will go up in the thread. Um, but as a, you know, anyone who watched last year, it's basically the, the final is going to be the same setup as it was last year, which is... You make four levels. Um, you can pick any of the themes that we've had so far and make a level in that theme. Um, I am going to throw in a couple of extras. Um, again, because I came up with more ideas for guidelines than we actually use. So basically, it'll be from any of the guidelines we've had so far, plus a few extra ones. You can make four levels, um, put it into a world. So use the world builder. Um, and and yeah, that that's the final ask, basically. Um, I was longer tonight than last week. Yeah, well, I did start late, um, so you know there is that. <laughs> you want me to make it five levels, Peds? Well, you know that'll be fun, won't it, for everyone? Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I'll, you know, I'll, I mean, if, if it's five levels, that means there'll be 10 levels in the final, which means we'll probably be here for about five hours whilst I try and play through them. So um, for the sake of my sanity and everyone watching, I will not make the finalists create five levels. Um, because, yeah, we unless we were intending to do some kind of charity marathon stream uh, where I sit here for 24 hours... Um, I think that's probably not a good idea. Um, so, yeah, I mean, all, all the business is taken care of now, really. This is just me waffling. Um, I don't know if there's anyone who we can do a raid on. I'm not sure if, Matt, you're streaming anymore, uh, if you're still there, whether you're streaming anymore, Dark Souls. But, um, yeah, I'm done. So thanks for watching. Um, and, yeah, tune in. Next week is going to be... I'm trying to remember the timetable I put out now. Um, oh, yeah, no worries, Matt. If you're too tired, that's fine. Um, in which case, we obviously won't be raiding you. Um, but, yeah, I think we've... I think I've said there'll be two weeks... Two weeks from now, and we'll do the third place playoff. So the third place playoff, people have got two weeks to build a level. Um, which means next week, there will be a stream. Um, there won't be any... Third place levels, obviously there won't be any final levels yet. Um, so it will kind of be a free, 
you know a freebie week um so either i'll replay old stuff or if anyone just wants to submit random levels to me i will play those um and that'll kind of be a yeah a placeholder until we get to the third place playoff um and raccoon you're going to submit a car level well that's fine if people would just want to throw car levels at me and we'll have a week where i get you know seriously frustrated playing car levels then that's fine i'm sure that'll be entertaining for for some people um maybe not for me but that's fine you know so yeah there we go um yeah so it'll be a free it'll be a free week so if you want to submit anything if you want to submit a car level um if i don't get enough levels i will just play either old levels from this year's competition or i think uh, in the thread uh, Victor mentioned he'd like to see some of last year's levels. Um, so I might go back and play um, some of people's levels from last year. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll be doing next week. And, and yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for making all the levels. Well done to uh, Carl and Victor for getting through to the final. Uh, well done to Cyborg and Raccoon for getting this far. Um, and yeah, I will see you all next time. Um, thanks a lot.